Hello everybody, before I start the video, warning, copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 on YouTube. I do not own any of this. Their properties and their trademark and their video clips belong to their respectable owners. So let's get started on the video. And before I got, the images I'm about to show you are graphic and disturbing. Fear discretion is advised. Anyways, let's get started. So, today we're going to be talking about he's the king of monsters in the 1930s before Godzilla, the big G, and big G lost the fight against the king of apes. And, king, and guess who the enemy of Godzilla is? Take a guess. It's... King Kong. Now, today I'm going to be doing a review on King Kong 1933 film. There we go. King Kong 1933. Now let's talk a little bit of history on King Kong 1933. Or R-K-O. Is, is the... What does it stand for? So yeah, this movie was a stop motion animation because CGI and animation haven't existed yet. So yeah, you know, I give them props for doing stop motion animation back in the old days. I give them props. Now before I start, prehistoric animals appeared in the film and some were deleted scenes. Now I have watched King Kong 1933 when I was uh, when I was in a when I was just a kid. Yeah, that freaked me out. So uh, yeah, I was pretty terrified. But I did not know they have a a censorship thing like some cuts which I did not know and here are some scenes like a brontosaurus mauling a crew men and the water chasing one up the tree and killing them which I did not see that and some other things that I do not want to say because I don't want to get demonetized for saying that stuff. You can look it up. Well, now you know that you know the history of the King of King Kong 1933. Now, let's get started on prehistoric animals and fictional monsters that appeared in the film or did not appear in the film. 
So let's get started. <laughs> 